Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your girl Silent Chick. Welcome to my channel, Silence of Beauty. Let beauty into your world. I'm here with a special guest, one of my besties. Say hey. Hey. I'm actually going to be recreating the look that I did in my last outfit of the day. I said I was going to do a tutorial. Um, she was over here. I just finished her hair. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I told her that I was going to use her to do this tutorial, and she agreed. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is start off with a primer. I'm using the Revlon Beyond Natural Primer. I'm just going to use a little bit of that on your face. Use a little bit of that to put We're just going to let that stand, sit on her face or few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and use the milk of magnesium. I'm just going to pour about a couple pumps of this in my head so as you can see about that much. Just rub it in and put it on any areas that she gets oily in, which would be her T-zone. Okay, so the look that I'm doing is a really nice spring look. It's soft, it's subtle, um, and it's just a really nice look for the spring. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab the foundation, which is the Black Opal um, True Color Liquid Foundation. It's oil-free and is in beautiful bronze. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of that on the back of my hand that much and I'm going to take a swirling brush, stippling brush and just dab that onto Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my concealer and I'm just using the e.l.f. concealer in light and I'm just going to go underneath her eye. Really quick foundation look. Go ahead and use that same brush I just did the foundation with and just go underneath her eye with the concealer. And so I'm switching brushes. And just a pretty nice brush. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish in Deep Dark. I'm going to go ahead and just set the foundation. Okay guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to do is her eyebrows now. So I'm going to take a spoolie and just... Brush your eyebrows going upwards. And like I said, if you already have your eyebrows freshly done, you really don't need to use concealer unless you really want to define the look. I'm using the Anastasia <laughs> Brow Kit, 
and I'm just gonna use this dark brown right here. Mine's not done, so yeah. <laughs> What's wrong here? Are both Okay, let's start with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to go ahead and use MAC Groundwork. It's the paint pot. I'm just going to put that all over her lid, just using my fingers. Hey, this one would mind with my contacts. Oh, oh, sorry, she has contacts in. <laughs> sorry, I'll go gently, hush. I forgot about your contacts, hush. Next, we're going to grab our MAC palette. So you can go ahead and grab your palette. Did he shift? <laughs> oh, did <laughs> Sorry, guys. We were having technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go ahead and grab your MAC palette, and we're going to be using Expensive Pink, which is this color right here. I'm going to dab on your brush. Close your eyes. And just place the color on your lid. Don't worry so much about blending because we'll blend after. So just place. fluffy brush and you're gonna go into texture which is this color right here and as well as saddle you're just gonna blend the two above the crease which is this blue. That's the color I use, this blue color. And you're just going to add it to the crease. Just make that soft V. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this Satellite Dreams, which is that purple color right here, 
and just take any angled brush. I'll just add this one the purple. Look up. And just go underneath her lash line with that purple color. We're gonna go back and just blend that color. Go back into saddle and texture and just blend the blue. Really simple look guys. It's quick and easy. If you want to go back and define that paint color, you could go back. Just want to intensify it a little bit more. Pretty. Okay, so let's move on to highlight. I'm going to go ahead and take Sunny by Nature by MAC. And I'm just going to take the angled brush and highlight underneath her eye close. I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. Just going to put it in the places just to give her a sun kiss type of look. This is more going towards her jawline. Bronzer up here. And for blush, we're gonna go ahead and use a little bit of, okay guys, change of plans. I'm using Floor Power by MAC, which is this pretty pink right here. Just gonna use a little bit. Just dab that on the apples of her cheeks. Okay. Okay, just blend. We're going to add some mascara and I'm gonna be really careful here because I could see you're already looking at me. Open your eyes. You can look down, look down. When I got here, you were trying to take my eyes out. I was trying to take your eyes, your eyes out. Okay, let's add some liner. I'm just using a Revlon liner and it's black gel liner. Okay, open, open your eyes. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Open. Add to her bottom lash line. Okay. okay guys, so we're gonna line the top lash line. Close your eyes.
so I'm just going to use the Revlon Candy Pink and just a little bit. This also is a color that anyone could use because it's buildable. I'm just going to add NYX Rounded Lip Gloss in Pinky Natural as a gloss on top. A little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh <my laughs> That's not what I told you to do. Okay, next thing I'm just going to take a purple liner. Any purple liner will do. And I'm just going to line her lips. And ladies, this is the final look. Show them. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're going to have pictures in the end. We're going to have pictures at the end. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Deuces. <laughs>